It was an exciting day for students across the mid-state, but not just because they had the day off. News Channel 5's Jonquil Newland spent the day at the Eclipse Festival at Elmington Park. And Jonquil, what was viewing like there? Well, Vicki, I'm beginning to think we had one of the best places to view the entire total solar eclipse here at Elmington Park. Now, uh, there's many students that came out to witness this very special occasion. Whether they came from afar. It took nine hours. Don't tell the police, please. Or just down the road. Elmington Park was the place to be for anyone wanting to catch a clear view of the total solar eclipse. It's slowly getting smaller and smaller, and like I can't wait till it's like dark. Metro students had the day off, so the PTSO planned an eclipse festival, hoping students would participate in this once-in-a-lifetime lesson, if only the heat would cooperate. It was extremely hot. No, not so much so. It's got a little bit better, a little bit more bearable. For about two minutes, sweet relief from the heat as darkness spread out across the mid-state. It looks like cheese a little bit. A once-in-a-lifetime event and some motivation for these students as they head back to class Tuesday. I mean, this is a lifetime event. I know some kids have been going over to Adventure Science Center and learning more about the eclipse. We have people here with telescopes that are giving, every, giving uh, people a look at the sky. Uh, I just think this is going to be something that we'll never forget. Yeah. Now, I spoke with several students this afternoon who tell me they're looking forward to getting back into the classroom tomorrow just to talk about the total solar eclipse. In West Nashville, I'm Jonquil Newland, News Channel 5.